Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on probability basics. This is the second video on the topic, so if you've not watched the first one yet, I recommend you watch that because we'll refer back to some of the concepts that we discussed in the first video. Uh, but here, let's look at a couple more skills, starting with calculating probabilities. Um, so uh, let's take a look at an example of a dice here. So this is just a standard dice uh, with six sides on it. Um, so there are six possible outcomes. We could either roll a one, a two, a three, a four, a five or a six. So the total number of outcomes, total number of outcomes equals six. So I'm writing this down because it is important. Uh, we need to refer back to this at some point. Uh, and let's just say we want to find the probability of rolling a two. Now, how many ways are there that we can roll a two? Uh, well, there's only one. Um, so we can only roll a two in one possible way. Um, there are six possible ways of rolling the dice in total. So the probability of rolling a two is the number of ways of rolling a two, which is just one, divided by the total number of possible outcomes, which is six. So the probability of rolling a two is therefore one sixth or one in six. Uh, let's take a look at a different example. Let's say we want to find the probability of rolling an even number. So uh, how many even numbers are there? Well, there's two, there's four, and there's six. There are even numbers, so there's three in total. Total equals three. Um, so therefore, the probability of rolling an even number is going to be three out of six. So again, uh, the six possible outcomes in total, three of them result in an even number. So our probability is three out of six, three sixths or three and six, uh, which we can cancel down by dividing by the top and the, uh, the top and the bottom by two to give us a half. So the probability of rolling an even number is a half. So let's move on now to have a look at another skill. Uh, so here we're looking at the idea that all probabilities must add up to one. Uh, so to demonstrate this with an example, uh, let's take a standard coin. Um, so when you toss a coin, there are two outcomes. There's either heads, uh, so we can call that H for short, or there's tails, or T for short. So we can say that the probability of uh, getting head on the coin toss is equal to one half, and the probability of getting tails on the coin toss is also equal to one half. So when we add these two probabilities together, a half plus a half, this equals one. So the sum of the probabilities of all the possible outcomes always adds up to one. Uh, so let's take a different example. If we go back to the example of a dice. So excuse my drawing there, um, but uh, yeah, you get the idea. So uh, you have six different outcomes on a dice you got one, two, three, four, five, and six. Uh, let's just say the probability of getting a one, well, that's equal to one out of six, because there's only one way you can roll the one and the six outcomes in total. And likewise, probability of getting a two is a sixth, and so on and so on and so on. Uh, so we could do that for each of the different outcomes, one to six. Uh, but if we add all these together, uh, we've got the probability of getting a one is a sixth, the probability of getting a two is a sixth, and so on. Um, so we essentially have six times one sixth. So that's the uh, sum of all of the uh, different outcomes. And that obviously equals one. So if you feel ready to tackle some probability questions, then why not have a go at our online exam? It's available through our revision platform. And if you take the test, you'll find loads of different questions, a variety of different question types, and you get instant feedback on all of them. So you can keep track of your progress, find out where you need to improve and so on. Uh, so if you're interested, then click the link below, it will take you straight over there.